just couldn't justify spending the money when I've got so many other cooking apparatus. You know, I'm going to take this plunge and invest in a winter well. Woodlander Double View 1G Cook Camping Stove in the large size. It's one thing I can't stand, and not just I can't stand it, but it's not good for me back. It's cutting firewood up into smaller pieces. And nowadays when you buy firewood, I think they're too big. They could they could be cut up a little bit finer, I reckon, at least half again. Because most of us now use little, you know, fire pits off the ground, little winter wells. Most of them are using just the small or the medium. From what I gather, the medium appears to be the most popular size. You always see people just cutting firewood, cutting firewood. All good, you know, if you're young and fit, you know, like I used to be, I wouldn't complain at all. But when you start putting on the age a bit and your back's not quite there, and you don't want to be going camping and cutting firewood and then be absolutely exhausted. I certainly don't want to. So I decided to go for the large because I watched some review videos where they actually were talking about this, the difference between a medium and a large. And this reviewer picked out the point that he preferred the large and he went for the large and he's glad he did because there's a lot less work involved in cutting firewood. You could fit a standard size firewood inside one of these and not have to cut it down. So I thought that's brilliant. And another big thing, this is probably the biggest one of all, there are more accessories available for the large size than there is for the small or the medium, such as one I've got here. Wait till you check this out. We'll do, we'll do a little bit of an unboxing in this saw soon. It's a Winterwell secondary combustion burner. Another one, you see on the ground down here, is a Winterwell foldable smoker. That's right. And we're gonna put that to the test shortly. And another one right here is a Winterwell large sized pipe water tank. Now, you might have seen in a lot of the videos of Steve's some saw adventures where he's got this water container that sits up, butts up against this and it's got a cutout in it, hole, and it sits on there and it's an external unit. So he hangs it on here, it sits on there and it boils the water. And then when the water's boiled, you'll see he removes it and he puts it on these hooks on the side. Now this particular one here doesn't have these hooks, it's just the way it's designed. So you either have to have it sitting there or sit on the ground somewhere. Now, the problem with that one I've found is that all good and proper when you've got the Nomad, but I find with the normal water tank, which holds three and a half liters, what happens is that once it gets to boil, they suggest to take it to remove it because it'll continue boiling because there's a lot of heat. It mounts right here, right where this chimney part goes. And by the way, the chimney's inside here. Now this only arrived yesterday. I haven't even opened it up and looked at the chimney yet. All I've done is I've just opened the box and had a quick look at these products. I did take this one out. I haven't taken any others out. So this is the first look for me as well as what you guys say misuse. And I'm going to take particular note and take extra photos. So I'll go grab my phone shortly and take photos exactly how the chimney pipes are arranged in here to make sure I can get them back inside when I pack it away. 
but the water container virtue of this one it's either you keep it here or you have to put on the ground or a log or something which is probably not a not an issue and then when it when it cools down a bit you just put it back on here whereas Steve he can hang his uh, on the nomads you can hang them on the side there and there's enough heat there just to keep it warm so I thought yeah that's going to be a hassle so I noticed there's a different type of water tank for the large and that's another accessory that's only available for the large I'm going to have a take a closer look at this oven here so as I mentioned before it's called the Winnowell Woodlander Double View now why did I go for the Woodlander and what's the difference between a Woodlander and the Nomad the Nomad is more of a box shape this section here comes down straight straight along the bottom straight at the top under close inspection I've noticed we're going to open this up for the first time let's just take this part out you can see it's very well packaged I can assure you I have not opened this as yet and I've got my phone here before I go any further let's let me take a photo so I know exactly how all this is going to go back in here and we've also got it on film too <laughs> as you can see now we've got a couple of there we go the phones there ah now this is i want to have a good photo of this this is the shot i want so i know how this thing goes back together now this is the item i wanted to show you in particular this is known as a bit of a a scraper I think it's known as a scraper I've got no idea that's what at least what I'm going to name it and what this does is scrapes all the ash out now I want you to take one thing notice and it's probably going to be easier to show after I remove the all these chimneys which I'm going to do shortly you can see how it's contoured to fit to the shape of the bottom here see that and it's just perfectly rounded there and there's no big lip here to catch the ash on I noticed with the Nomad and this is respect for cleaning now it's probably not really an issue but for me if I'm going to invest in so, so much I noticed with the Nomad it's all flat on the bottom and it's got a lip just here where all the ash catches with this one here would get more ash out but I suppose all you got to do with the Nomad is just lift it up there and just tip it out and it all comes out. But I like this one, the fact that it's just designed perfectly to, shoot, to suit that shape. I like their leg design as well. I noticed that when it came with Steve's and Rob's that the legs, they had to purchase an extension where they had to place on to get it up higher well this here is quite high it's more than high enough for me in fact we're going to put it on the ground shortly and we're going to start its first burn so when you get these you have to do what's known as the first burn to burn off all the oils etc before you use it now I'm going to put this in action this afternoon with the smoker I'm going to be cooking a pork roast let's proceed in removing these chimneys so this is the first one it's got something else inside and I believe they call that the spark arrestor that was not easy to remove that I had to virtually hammer that out so it's probably I'm going to find a different way to transport this that was way way too tight what if we'll just we'll just remove all the, all the chimney pieces here and then I will ah that one's slightly different to the rest
And then we've got this grate that you see here, which goes on the bottom. Very heavy duty. Wow, look at that. I can, I can just about fit my whole arm in there. It gives you an idea of the length of this. These are the sides, I don't know if you can see that. We have got some storage area to put your pots and pans, etc. And what we'll do now is we'll move this out the side. Oh, check the handles out. Aren't they awesome? Look at the quality, the workmanship on these handles, the doors, the workmanship on the item itself, the welds, etc. All 304 grade stainless steel as well. So this is built to last. The handles are cool to the touch handles, as you can see. This is the adjust how much air intake that goes into your winter well oven. Generally you keep this fully open as you can see there and when you want to choke it down you just close that. One of the chimneys here has got a flue on it. If you have a look inside there it's fully open, it's fully closed. So you can also adjust the temperature and the flame size by closing that flue as well. Now I've got another product that's called the Winterwell Secondary Combustion Burner that sits up here and that's really cool. It's when you first burn these in because you've got to burn all the oils etc and up, up. They get this beautiful patina colour on it. We'll do its first burn just to prepare it for this afternoon's roast. Going to set this up under the hexatop. Perfect time to show you example when I want to remove the ash. Let's take a look at the Winterwell Secondary Combustion Burner. Large. I believe this accessory, as far as what I can tell, is only available for the large Nomad or the large no Woodlander that I've got here. So, this is really exciting, this part of it. I've done research online, on YouTube, etc. And you'd be lucky to find any mention or a video on this component. So check this out. Oh. <laughs> Is that a beauty or what? Now this is again made of all stainless steel with the inbuilt secondary combustion mechanism when the well secondary combustion burner generates more heat and reduces the heat loss with the same load of wood to greatly increase the heating efficiency. Simultaneously it reduces the generation and emission of black smoke and sparks to make the combustion cleaner and to reduce the carbon footprint which is more environmentally friendly. We can, when a well secondary combustion burner also functions as an extra cooking platform other than the stove top to offer more space for cooking. So it's our office of cooking versatility, coffee brewing, stewing, boiling, frying. You can actually turn the secondary burner on and off. There is a lever here. And apparently of the one video I've managed to find on this, it actually shows at night time, see how it's got all the patterns of the trees here, it looks a bit like a Christmas tree, a pine tree. Here in Australia they look like a pine tree, all this here. That internally glows and then at night you can view, you can view this very nice pattern that glows of these trees at night. So it absolutely looks awesome. And we all know when we're camping how much we love sitting around the fire, admiring the fire, admiring the pattern, the colours, etc. Hence, the woodland one that I've chosen has the, has the two viewable windows on the side as well as the front. So it's two viewable windows and you can also remove them for easy cleaning. There are some thumb screws on the front, two on either side 
And you remove that, remove the stainless cover plate and then the glass just slides out for easy cleaning as well. And that's another feature that I absolutely loved about the, the Woodlander as well. And it's also very stable as well, very, very stable, particularly on uneven ground. In some ways more so stable than the one with the four legs, according to Winterwell. Let me show you how it, how it all connects up. It just slides over the top like so. So, there you go. Let me show you that again. You see, it's got the pipe there. That's the on off to con turn the combustion. Now, apparently, when you first use these, when you turn them on, you've got to turn the combustion off. And then you wait about 15, 20 minutes before you turn it back on. So the fire is just, you know, it's just prepared. It's just right then. It's got the perfect combustion then. So there you go. And then on the top here, you place the rest of the chimney. You've got a wide piece here. You've got the narrow piece here. So the narrow piece goes in here like so. Give you an idea on the size. But we're not going to test this today. I'm going to leave this for another day. So we're going to remove this. And I'm going to set up them, the chimneys and we're going to have a look at this foldable oven next. Now it's heavy, nine and a half kilos. So it's not too bad, not too bad. It's 730 mils high, 28.7 inches high. This foldable oven can also be used externally. So it doesn't need the winter well same as my other foldable winter well oven. The one you noticed that a few times I've cooked videos, cooking videos with it. It can also be used externally from the winter well. So let's open this up. Now, one thing I noticed, it's very well packaged. I love it's got these straps here. And what I'm excited about, it's got a manual. You know how important that is. We always read the manual. Well, at least I do. What I'm excited about is it's actually got a, a bag with it. Because after I ordered all this and it arrived yesterday, I was thinking to myself, oh, bugger, you know, how am I going to cart this foldable oven around? But, whoa, check this out as a bonus. We have got a bag. How awesome is that? It looks like it's heavy duty, like vinyl. And I've also, I did purchase an additional bag. So there is another box I left inside the house. I did purchase an additional a bag for the winter well. So I haven't tried it yet. And I also got the little chimney cleaner as well, you see here. So I don't think we'll need to do a review video on that. Everyone knows what a chimney cleaner looks like. So how awesome is that? So let's have a proper, closer look at what we got here. So obviously, we've got the lid. Look at the size of that, that is humongous. A bit of a contraption here. <laughs> what do you call that? To adjust the heat, the airflow, etc. That's interesting. I wonder what that is. I think that might have something to do with holding this, one of these trays in here for the hook to when you're smoking. So these are the trays. These there's, should be two or three trays. One of these is a smoking tray, which sits on the base, sits on the bottom, and you put your chips on there. And then this heats up, and it heats up the chips and produces a lot of smoke. So that's the top. So we're going to attempt to put this together shortly because we're going to cook in this very shortly. Here are two, two trays. I see we've got more trays here. So we've got plenty of trays, haven't we? How awesome. So put this over here. And this is the base. There's that locking mechanism that I spoke about 
that goes on the winter well at the back there that you just lock this in place so it's never going to move. So that's the first part, that's the bottom part. And I think how you put this together, it's probably easier if we put it together on top of the stove itself. So there's the other trays. Here's some more racks. So we've got four, four racks, four tray racks. One, two, three. No, we actually got, wow, that's amazing. We've got five. One, two, three, four, five shelves. Woohoo! Well, it is big. And here we are. Whoa, look, we've got a thermometer as well. Nice, generous size window here. Now, same principle as the winter well foldable oven. This all folds out. As you can see. There we go. All you do then is just simply put the bottom in place, place the top on, which looks like it hooks in place, hooks in there, goes down here like so, and then that basically locks it in place. I'll figure it out. I need to read the manual. Oh, look at this. This is the solution to that water tank problem I mentioned before. Now, reading the manual, this here is located on the third stack of your chimney, which I just so happen to have part of the chimney set up. So basically, this will sit on the third stack, like so. And then your other chimney goes on the top. And then you can put four and a half litres of water in here. I think we can close this now. Oh wow, you can hear the airflow just absolutely sucking right through the entire. That's incredible. Okay, so we'll, we'll get this flame established a bit. So I've let it about 10-15 minutes ago now and I've just stoked it up a couple more pieces of kindling and I'll get an established fire going there now. Uh, when I first initially turned it on 
well fired it up or we should it say lighted the fire there was a fair bit of white smoke coming out the chimney but after about 10 minutes there's no smoke coming out the chimney now so it's a very clean burn now it's starting to get this beautiful patina color that people all talk about after you first fire it up and it's absolutely gorgeous now you can certainly feel the heat coming from this you can certainly feel the heat on the top there so now I've only got a relatively small fire in there right now I didn't want to go too big of a fire for the first burn and in fact I don't think I'd ever will go too big of a fire now it's very very windy here and it's amazing I mean this here you could use this in 20 30 knot winds no problems at all because it's fully enclosed and that's another thing too the fact that it is fully enclosed means that I should be able to use this well I know I will in places like Fraser Island etc shortly I'm going to put the water container on the top there and see how well that heats up the water if it gets to the boil the only question I have with that water container that I've got as part of the chimney it says in the instructions that you must put it put it on the third road the third tier and which is where I had it before I showed you any lower it's probably going to get too hot I imagine so I'm really keen to see how that works. I'll probably need a bigger fire than what's in there now, but still it'll be interesting to see how well it warms that water up and if it gets it to the boil. All right, so it's about oh, 20 minutes now later. The amount of coals in there already. Still got a decent flame here. Let me check. Yes, I could put one more piece of timber in is add this big piece in if I can now that's that's the beauty that's a big piece of log straight out of the the firewood bug bag <laughs> bug <laughs> bag that I normally have to chop up in much smaller pieces at least three four pieces but now there should be enough heat in there get that up to boil I got the water container out as you can see and I placed it on here when the fire was relatively small and it's been on the burn for no 10 20 minutes and that is already wow that is already super hot so that is really hot water more than hot enough to put in the, the my bu bucket my collapsible bucket for a hot shower and that's the idea of this because it holds four and a half liters I'm going to use this for a hot shower as well as hot water for cooking so I don't need it to boil but I'm really interested now that I put that big piece of timber in I'm really interested to see if this is going to boil so how awesome I love it and I don't have to bend down just the perfect height but as I said I'm interested to see if this is going to boil this water I have a feeling it will so you can see the nice patina colors that are starting to looks much nicer than the shiny stainless steel color absolutely beautiful so this is almost ready to set up the smoker in which I might do very shortly you should feel the heat is generating from this I'm only using half of the chimney components here today so that I can keep the winter whale oven under the shade of the hexatarp because 
Today is almost like a hot summer day. Now I'm going to do more videos on these individual components, such as this water container you see here, as well as the foldable oven, and as well as that U-Butte combustion item. I haven't tried it yet. That's something to try at night to see the full effects out of that. So that's going to be exciting. So till then, cheers. Bye, and please subscribe and put a like on the video. You got no idea how much that will help my YouTube channel if you do that. So till next time, eh? Cheers.